All right, we're finally ready to quantize. So what I'm going to do is keep the grid turned off. That way I can select whatever. Go across here. I've just selected all these uh, ones that I've uh, that I've chopped up. I'm going to hold Command and then the number zero. And that's going to pull up a quantize box. What you're going to do is select just sound bites. In other words, we don't want to uh, quantize the audio inside the sound bites, just the blocks themselves. Uh, and then we've got a bunch of different grid points we can set it to. We're trying to move all of these to the nearest quarter note. That's the rhythm we're looking for. So I'm just going to click on that, keep everything off. You don't need any of the options. And then all you have to do is hit apply. And that will automatically take all of these, snap them directly onto each grid point. Nice and simple. Now that brings up brings us up to sort of correcting this. Because if I hit play, there'll probably be pops and clicks and things like that. So the process here now is you just go over, select all of them. I'm just going to grab them, drag them back over. While I'm selecting all of them, grab the top corner, and that's going to insert what's called a crossfade, and that'll make it all nice and seamless. Now with DP5, you have to wait while it processes all of them. In other versions, you don't have to. And now when I go back and I hit play, everything is, for the most part, right on, right on the money, which is what we're looking for. So that's basically the process to quantizing. Um, so the crossfade just seamlessly make, uh, uh, connects these two um, spots. And the way that you do that is it's just a little, there's a little like dot there, and you'll get this looking tool, which will crossfade it. Now, there's another type of tool, which is to do what's called time stretching. And this is... Uh, <clears throat> going to be very useful for, for when when you can't crossfade and make it sound clean. And if you put it on the top, you'll get this little hand. And then that'll let you either squash your audio or stretch it back out. So if I squash it and then hit play, it's basically taken that and all squashed it up. So I'll undo that. Um, so sometimes you're going to have to do that. And when that kind of thing comes up, uh, you know, we'll talk about exactly what why you've got to do that.